Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. For those of you who are new, new to the space, new to this channel, my name is Kiara and this is our family channel where we record our ups, our downs, everything that is on our minds, we record it and I hope that you guys enjoy that. Um, if you do like that type of vibe, if you guys like that type of video or vlogs, that is my child, you see? This is real, real life. Yes. If you guys like those type of vlogs, please subscribe down below and I hope that you guys enjoy this video. I'm gonna be talking about my two weeks postpartum and can I just say, this is my second pregnancy. My pregnancy with my baby girl who is sleeping, I'm gonna show you guys her in a little bit. <sighs> It was completely different from my first pregnancy with my son, like completely different, 100% from the beginning to the end. Everything was different, even my labor and delivery, and even my postpartum is 100% different. So I'm gonna be speaking to you guys about that right now. And my dog is right here. When did he come? Alrighty, you guys. So this is my little girl right here. Oh, she's so beautiful. She's sleeping, so. She is two weeks old. She was born May 21st and today is June 8th. And is her right there? She is such a chunker, you guys, and she eats so much. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I think I'm gonna put her back. I love my little girls. I am beyond happy that she is healthy and that she is a happy little girl. She's still, she, it's crazy because she's two weeks old and she like smiles a lot like she not like the smiling like oh she just smiled because she smiled like you literally can speak to her and do like the baby voices and she will smile for you which is crazy because she's only two weeks and they don't start doing that till like later on and she's also super strong too so that's just a little cray cray but anyways so let's start with day one of like me giving birth okay so i was extremely energetic i feel like in the hospital i felt so good which is crazy like i felt i hadn't been pregnant i didn't even feel like i gave birth even though my birth oh my gosh you guys for those of you who haven't watched my labor and delivery, I'll put it up here. But I had an epidural and it failed. It didn't work. So I basically ended up having natural birth and I'm kind of disappointed. Like I wish I knew that it was going to fail so that I could just have a natural birth and not have that medicine inside of me. Um, because my back hurts, you know, with epidurals, they, your back ends up hurting after... Um, you give birth. I mean, some people, some people, they, you know, the epidural doesn't affect them at all. But for me, I get back pains and stuff. So anyways, I felt like I hadn't even given birth. I felt like this baby just came out of nowhere. Like, I felt so good. So yeah, that was awesome. She was great at the hospital. I stood in the hospital for 24 hours because... I guess because I didn't tear or anything like that. With my first pregnancy, I did end up tearing and my husband was super nervous because I like they couldn't stop the bleeding, but I'm fine, obviously. Um, but I stood at the hospital for two days, I believe, or two and a half days. Um, but this pregnancy, like I said, I only stood in the hospital for 24 hours. When I got home, I forgot to pick up my medication and I'm gonna show you the medication that they got me by the way but I went literally a whole night without medication and let me just tell you the pain was horrible like it felt like I was having contractions all over again um, throughout the night and the doctor actually told me that when you breastfeed your cramps are even worse so I was breastfeeding the whole night and my pains were horrible to the point where I was just like there was times where I would be like yelling in pain like just like oh oh like things like that like it was it was not a good time you guys and then my husband actually ended up the next morning um picking up my medication but he had a lot of errands to do that day because he had to put in his leave and so he got home like around the afternoon so i went basically 24 hours without medication and that was horrible you guys so pick up your medication after you give birth because it was bad i don't remember even feeling this bad with my son like i don't remember having pains at all after i gave birth with my son but i guess it's because my epidural actually worked and i still had that epidural in my body maybe uh and that's why it didn't hurt but yeah so this is the medication they gave me it is oh gosh i hope i, I say these names right because 
oh it's ibuprofen so um i had to take these every eight hours and this one was actually the strongest one um i love this one i like would get so hyped when the eight hours were up because i needed to take it like asap the pains stood in my body for like a good eight days maybe and they slowly like started to get better you know like at first it was bad but then it went down and then the second one that they gave me i would have to take every four hours and it's narco norco yeah this one didn't really work as much so yeah so the pains were not cool the cramps were not cool they felt like contractions just fyi all right so day one with baby girl in the house so i totally did not have this experience with my son my son i feel like he would wake up maybe like every three hours when he got home from the hospital baby girl would wake up every hour you know sometimes it would just be to breastfeed sometimes it would just be to like she just wanted me to hold her and then i would wake up like i don't even know i would probably wake up more than her because i just wanted to make sure she was okay we co-sleep and you guys can say whatever you want about that but we have a huge bed i have two kids i've done this before and i still co-sleep to this day and we're fine you guys but i would like touch her little nose to make sure she was you know alive you hear all these stories about newborns dying and stuff like as newborns and i'm just like i don't know like no 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 yeah i would wake up all the time just being completely paranoid that's just me i'm a paranoid ass person but but then after that like literally the day day two she was fine waking up every three hours and then the older she got she's only two weeks but you know what i mean like the older she got the, the more days passed she would sleep more and more and now she wakes up like every four hours and sometimes i have to end up waking her up because sometimes it'll go like almost to five hours where she hasn't ate so these right here get super huge and i'm like no baby girl let's wake up let's wake up time to eat so yeah it's it's awesome now she's been doing amazing with breastfeeding so let's speak about breastfeeding being a new mom period it is super hard and you just don't know what the hell you're doing i remember with my first pregnancy um i couldn't get baby boy to latch on i kind of didn't really know like how to position him um how to put my nipple in his mouth and now even though i had a bad experience the first time and i didn't know what the hell to do with this pregnancy or you know with this baby i already knew what to do like she latched on so well my whole nipple went in her mouth which is how you're supposed to breastfeed the your whole nipple has to be in their mouth she's been doing amazing with that you guys have been asking like what have i been eating uh to make my breast flow or my breast milk supply still be there and you guys um to be completely honest <sighs> um i drink a lot of water but sometimes i honestly forget to have my breakfast i sometimes have been skipping meals i've just been so like occupied and so overwhelmed with everything else around me that i haven't been really focusing 100 percent on myself i noticed that a few days ago so i've been eating like oatmeal for breakfast um for snacks i start eating fruits for lunch sometimes i'll have like a sandwich or something or i have oatmeal again to be completely honest and then you know dinner could be whatever it is that we're eating but yeah it's just like the same diet that i've been having i'm like really excited to just like feel like myself again and just start cooking again because i haven't been cooking i've been so tired and i feel like i've just been so busy with everything else that i don't want to even cook or even think about cooking but i can't wait till i get that energy back where i can make my meals eat better eat healthier eat salads and all of that it, it's coming soon though you guys because i've been like craving salads and i'm like i need to get back to eating healthy like i really do and i need to get back to thinking about moi so now we're gonna talk about bleeding because after you give birth obviously you bleed i finally have stopped bleeding today and today i am what's today today's friday so i am two weeks and five days postpartum and i stopped bleeding so that's how long it took me it could take you less and or it could take you longer but that's how long it took me and i'm happy because i don't have to wear pads anymore and i'm happy because i don't have to wear my huge pads which i wore for two weeks and uh three days because i started wearing pads 
like two days ago and these are the pads that i used oh my god you guys these were a lifesaver these look like diapers let me see if there's a picture of it yes there is i don't know if you can really see it that's that's like the girl's body and that's how it looks it looks more like a pad panty if that makes any sense because the stuff that goes up like the diaper part it looks more like a just like a panty it just doesn't feel like a panty and i wore them so much that there was this one time that i had to put like the baby's diaper uh rash cream around my booty tmi uh because it was just like the the material of it like was bothering my stuff down there uh, but this was super awesome it's called always discreet underwear and i got the maximum uh classic cut large and it comes with 15 i'm pretty sure they have a bigger one and a smaller one but this i had to buy two of these so i went through two um and this like I said, these were a lifesaver. I loved it. I never leaked or anything. Like, I would prefer these and recommend these rather than pads. Because, you know, sometimes pads, like, they be slipping on the side. Or, like, they'll, like, come off. And you sometimes, like, it, it, it will, like, leak through. Because it doesn't have anything, like, stopping it. And this has, you know, it's like a diaper. So, it's awesome, you guys. So, I recommend always discreet get that and it also says 360 form fit so look for that but yeah i stopped bleeding which is awesome all right so we're gonna go back to these right here so when you breastfeed and when you breastfeed a lot i mean obviously your baby's gonna be eating every two to four hours your nipples start to get super sore because sometimes they just play with it you might not notice because you think that he or she is still drinking but your nipples do get sore and they do end up cracking so i'm gonna show you guys what i have been using for that Ugh. right here i don't know what the brand is called but i mean uh it's called like lenny lencinol lencinol lancinol and this has been really good you apply it around your nipple i think you have to well i do i just get like a pea size amount and i just Put it all over my nipple whenever it starts to hurt and this actually works and you can breastfeed with that on your nipple which is awesome like this is um a great product so i highly recommend this okay so now we're gonna talk about baby girl and about me right after so when baby girl kalia that's her name by the way um when she was born oh you can literally feel when your boobs are about to leak by the way like you just start to feel like a pressure in like around your nipple area and that's how i feel right now when i leak that'll be fine because i have some leak protection when my daughter was born the doctor like checked her and all of that and when she checked her heart like to hear her heart she had a heart murmur which is like a small hole in her heart and i like when i heard that i just automatically got like super nervous i was like what the hell you know i asked a bunch of questions like what is that will it go away is it big like you know and the doctor said that it was extremely small and that it could go away within the night and it could go away within the day or within a few days so for her first week checkup she actually checked it and it was still there and then a few days ago we had her two week checkup and it went away so that's awesome another thing that my doctor said that the baby had was jaundice which is basically let me just read the official definition um it says here that it's a liver condition that causes yellowing of a newborn's baby's skin and eyes and you know this is normal for newborns it typically goes away within two weeks two to three weeks it says here um so like their eyes like the whiteness of the eyes will be yellow the skin will be yellow and baby girl had that um so for her uh two week checkup it went away thank god um the doctor had told me in order to like treat it or like to help it out was to get her in sunlight that's why a lot of you guys have seen me going out with the baby um so it went away thank the lord at her two week appointment she weighed eight pounds four ounces she was born two weeks ago and she weighed seven pounds 11 ounces so she's getting she's getting her weight up and also she was 21 inches when she was born i believe she was 19 inches so she's also growing like she just looks so much bigger to me from when she was born and it's just crazy because she's two weeks old and like time is already going by so fast 
<sighs> now we're gonna speak about me and how I've been feeling. So yesterday, oh my gosh, I had like a breakdown. I was on the phone with my mom and my son, like he has just been so rebe rebelli uh, rebellious, he's four. And I feel like now he sees that I'm occupied and whenever I'm occupied doing something, he thinks he could do whatever he wants. He doesn't want to listen. So obviously go figure. I'm like hormonal and I'm also with the baby and um, I'm tired, exhausted, like just extremely emotional. So I get just so like, oh my gosh, I just get so emotional and I just start to cry when he does things like this, you know, not... I mean, I have done it once in front of him, but, um, you know, I had to put baby girl down. This was yesterday. I had to put baby girl down, put him in check, have him take a nap. And I called um, while I was with my mom and all of this was happening. Well, while I was on the phone with my mom and all of this was happening, I was just like, mommy, I gotta, I, I'm going to call you back. And um, like, I was just crying on the phone with her and she got worried and she called my sister and told my sister about it. But yeah, after I spoke to her and after I put baby boy on check, I called Desmond and I was just like venting and I was so pissed off and I was just telling him the things I, I don't want to do like I just feel like I have been doing so much lately like just so much I have things that I have to do like my son is in speech therapy um, my eldest son has like this ear uh, what is it called um, freak I can't even think right now keloid he has this keloid that he got because his mom uh got him earrings when he was four years old so he has huge keloids in his back the back of his ears and i have to make appointment for that i have to make um an appointment for um the baby she has like a bunch of appointments right now because she's a newborn and then it's just so much going on and then i have to do things for the house and a lot of you guys say like take a break take a break and i get it i know you guys some of you guys are just worried about me and you guys actually care but i'm just like there's not much of a break that i can have when i am home by myself you know like i don't have family out here i don't have friends I, I just don't trust people period i don't know anybody out here i mean we have friends but they work and it's only two people but my husband works a lot he works late nights at times he tries his best to do what he can when he is here but he can't really do much so it's like you know all of that and then i also have three dogs too all of that combined is just like Cray cray. And then I have this as well, which is my job. I love you guys a lot, but this is my job. So if I don't post, then I don't make money for that day. And that is just like, ugh, it's just that just gives me like the emotional breakdown that I ended up having yesterday. So yeah, I have been stressed. I have been um, bitchy and for those of you who think that I'm a bitch because I want to be, then f you for real i mean i told my husband today that i'm already done with the negativity i am so happy that i have you guys like i don't know what i would do without all of you positive people out there who watch and who comment and who always have my back so i really appreciate you guys and i'm gonna speak about you guys more than the negativity but yeah i have been stressed and my sister said that it like just to make sure that it's not depression and i honestly don't think it is but <clears throat> and i'm not embarrassed to say if like i get to the point where i'm like extremely depressed like i'm gonna speak to you guys about it and obviously i'll seek help if it's to the point where it's something that's like unbearable you know right now i just feel like it's like the stress that i usually get as a mom times like maybe two or something you know it's like it's just a little bit more obviously because i do have a newborn now you know and i have to take care of her the majority of the time and then i have the kids too that i can't like not take care of you know so what i'm gonna do is i am looking at daycares right now i have my youngest in speech therapy which is extremely expensive so i think i'm gonna get him out of that because he he's he he got approved for speech therapy but there was three tests that he had to take and he passed one with flying colors and the other two he like 
almost passed he was like right there so he was only gonna take speech therapy for a month and that month you guys is extremely expensive and i already see that like before we even got this appointment because <clears throat> the waiting list was super long and we just recently got like him in speech therapy finally but he had learned so much being with my niece for a month in january like he learned so much with her and then she came here for 10 days and he learned even more in those 10 days so i think i'm just gonna put the money that we're spending for speech therapy for a daycare so that's what i'm doing i'm just trying to look for the best daycare out here that's like good reading reviews and all of that so that's what i'm gonna do next week um because right now i have fever fever blisters on my lips i don't know if you guys can see them or if you guys notice them i try to put something over it so you guys won't notice it but i do have that and i don't want to go out at all <laughs> today or this weekend until it leaves so next week that's what i'm gonna um focus on i'm gonna go look for daycares have like tours and stuff and make sure that it's like the best daycare that he can go to and obviously with all those kids there that talk like my niece does and having the teacher and all of that he is gonna his speech is gonna improve before he starts school in september so i'm excited about that but yeah today i'm like super happy i feel like the the times that i feel stressed and like really like oh is in the mornings and i feel like i got like that after my mom left like when my mom got here that was last weekend um may 30th um the next day my husband went back to work and so my mom was here for four days and that was awesome she like distracted me but the second she left i was here all alone my husband was back at work and she wasn't here it's been three days since she left and since you know I'm, i've been here by myself and yesterday i had the breakdown so i feel like that's probably what it was like i was just by myself and just extremely overwhelmed like i just wish i had family close by and unfortunately that's not the case and yeah so i'll be fine though you guys i'm feeling way better today and i'm just gonna do things like just think about myself more you know you know like focus on me and what makes me happy as well so um i've noticed that since i've been breastfeeding i have been craving sweets like i've been craving it so much i've been craving things that i haven't even been craving when i was that i didn't crave when i was pregnant which is crazy um so like lately it's been like ginger ale which actually has helped me a lot i'll tell you guys why um but ginger ale um coca-cola again honey honey buns and like cookies like super random but i'm gonna try to lay off of that because um i am not trying to gain weight again okay i am not pregnant anymore speaking of weight when i first got pregnant with kalia um i was 210 pounds I, uh, that's like the biggest i've ever been it was completely different from my per first pregnancy where i started at 187 i believe um but yeah with this pregnancy i went from 210 to 222 and it's because i was like nauseous throughout my whole pregnancy so that's why i didn't gain that much weight and it was i was healthy though you guys but you know i was just nauseous and always throwing up and stuff so since i gave birth i have lost all of that and more i am currently 205 which is awesome and i think it's because i'm breastfeeding and hopefully i continue to lose weight and i'm gonna try my best to start eating healthier again and once my doctor gives me the go to start working out i'm gonna slowly start working out again going on walks it's super hot out here in texas so i know i'm gonna be sweating my egg off um, so i'm excited for that and i'm excited to sweat and just get back to my good my, my body when i was uh, uh i think 23 in 2015 where i just was looking banging and yeah all right so i had to grab baby she has her eyes open let's see if she hey hey oh she's trying to eat the blanket she is not opening her eyes okay so i'm gonna breastfeed i forgot to mention this in the beginning and i don't know how i didn't mention it but ugh, right here silicone breast pump i love this thing so i'm gonna put the link to this breast pump in the info box underneath this video this is by um nature bond and you guys it is amazing shout out to gabby she actually got us this and she said it was a lifesaver for her and it's basically like a milk catcher so after you give birth you start to leak so much your boobs will get engorged which means that like your boobs just fill up completely with milk and hold on because i already feel this one about to start leaking okay so i wish i could show you guys all right oh gosh i can't really show you guys but um you basically grab this put your put like your nipple in there and then you just suck it up like that and it will like just suck your nipple and then 
all of the milk that would start leaking from this boob just goes inside of this little manual breast pump which is awesome because before when I was pregnant with Jericho I would try to breastfeed him from one nipple and then the other nipple would just be leaking and I would have to catch it with like I don't know a rag or something you know and it would be wasted milk so now with this obviously this catches it and then I'll just put it in like my storage bags and put it in the freezer which is awesome all right so when my mom was here literally the day before she left I got sick um for a few hours i got the like a random fever out of out of nowhere i got a fever and then i just started to get the chills and then i would get hot and this happened for maybe like six or seven hours and my mom ended up making me a tea but i just wasn't happy like i just didn't want to eat anything i didn't end up eating dinner that night either but she made me a tea that was ginger and lemon and she told me to drink it she kept telling me to drink something hot because i was cold she made me coffee but like i was not in the mood for coffee and the tea i hate tea but i don't know i was like you know what ginger it usually works really good when you're sick or just ginger is just good for you period so i like just chugged it down and then i also drank a ginger whale and that you guys made me feel awesome literally within an hour I was back to myself. I was, you know, like I, I still kind of felt out of the weather, but I was not like having chills anymore or anything like that. So that really, really helped me. But that's what happened to me. And uh, a few of you guys mentioned that it could have been Miss thesis uh, must i don't know i'll put the word somewhere around here um where it's basically like a fever and on your nipple because my boobs were hurting me too but it went away quickly and i mean i don't i don't know if that was what it was i don't i don't have it anymore i will bring it up to my doctor though when i see him but it went away literally like within a few hours so yeah but I read that if you do have that, even if it's an infection in your nipples, and even if you're like, it, like your boobs really, really hurt, um, you're supposed to still breastfeed your child. Like I don't, I guess nothing happens to them, but you're supposed to still breastfeed them. So it was something new that I learned because I never knew about that all right so i think i covered everything i hope anyways thank you so much i love you guys and you guys will see me later if you guys enjoyed this video please like it and subscribe to our channel once again if you have not and you guys will see us tomorrow hopefully peace out okay so don't mind my pjs but this is how my stomach looks and honestly this is how my stomach looked before i was pregnant um i've always had like this going on let me just show you guys like i've always had like whenever i have a gut which was most of the time i always have like this going on my mom always said that it's because i put my pants down here and i'm supposed to like put it up here and shit um but yeah so that's how it looks and this everybody always asks if this is like a c-section scar and once again <laughs> it's because i'm guessing because i have i always put like things down here but nope you guys it's not a c-section scar it's just like a huge muffin top but that's how it looks and then these are my stretch marks that was actually from my first pregnancy and then i actually got a few right here right before i gave birth like literally a few weeks before I gave birth. I don't know if you guys can see that. And my line is crooked, I know. And yeah, but that's my stomach. You guys can see some of the stretch marks right there.